guys today we are bringing a new video for you in which we will learn setting of admin panel of KKI before the start video we know that installation updation and how to use of KKI and if you are new on this channel and have not seen our all videos so you must watch previous videos of our channel and then you understand KKI and run KKI PHP scripts on browser so let's start we are going on desktop and open the browser so we go on that localhost kki and we open that admin of kki and log in first and right now we are going that settings we click here settings and you can see here that all settings shown here sidebar you can read here general logo map international email setting team setting ai setting this is most important affiliate program we already talked that in this video and live chat billing details social login setting google recapture this also have few steps blog settings testimonial setting purchase code we already use when that we buy that from code king and this php script so we already use and that first video of that installation so we going on that first channel so it's showing that channel setting normal it's showing that site you are you can put your domain hosting site you are here and then site title this site title as you type here it will be showing that title and table so you can see here demo firstly i copy this or right click copy now i am changing like i am change the title new dish and save so this is save and now you can go front end and you can see here how is showing title? You go here. So this is your front end of site. Okay, and you can see this tape here showing Nitish. This is the title. So this one you also can change as you want. And now I'm going again back. I am doing here same again. Give it here and paste and save. And now you can go that front end and refresh here now change that pki open ai so this is our title so this title you can make and changes and other is disable landing page if you want that hide and show your page so you can enable and disable the symbol and enable maintenance mode this one i am trying to show if i enable so this will be shown front end is maintenance mode so we go back front end i'm going to stay and refresh so you can see here that we'll be back soon this means this maintenance mode now i'm going back we're going the next enable new user registration if you do is disable so it will be not shown right angle here disable and save and i'm going back front end and refresh so i search firstly i go back and you know this maintenance more so it will be shown so you also don't do this mistake so i save this and go here front end and refresh and now if I go and join now, so it will not show that sign up. You can see here not showing sign up. If I put direct URL sign up and refresh, so it will be asked so we cannot direct it that sign up. So it will be not shown. And if I go back and enable again and save. So this one you go here again and if you direct it so it will show your sign up as registration 
Or if you go in there and join now, this also showing your sign up now. So this one you also can hide and show in your ESPC website. Now I'm going back uh, another Mac settings. You also can enable FAQs going disable so it will be no show. Now I'm safe here. Don't forget to save because I really want to. I'm going back here. Now I am directly click here. Now you can see here was before that fake FAQ. So it will be not show right now because we already hide. And now we going again in about. So it will be again in about. Default membership plan for new user. This one you want to put trial or free. As you want, you can do. If you put here free, so membership plan will be free, not is paid. So it's like this. So you also can change, and this is con job one time 300. So also, you can change. Show and hide verify email message on to non active users. Show and hide. If you want to see that your if anyone not verify the users their emails, so if you want to be able to show or hide, you can do it here. And allow non active user to use AI. If you want to show from non active, means they didn't verify email and contact anything. So if you want, they can see your AI features or not. So this one you can allow and disallow. If you Showing this allow code, so they will not use this AI. And if you allow, so they can use even if they will not verify or anything. So this is their package. And now you can see here allow user language selection. This one for yes or no. If you want to select your user, you want yes or no, you can choose. Same like this transfer filter, you can also read here whether you whether you should be show a transfer scheme between saving admin pages or not. This also you can use for admins if you want to transfer. And uh, term and condition page link you can put here reward and privacy page link you can put your privacy page link that you want and this policy page link after login which page uh, user will be both so you also can that you can change and put your url show hide cookies and constant box if you want to show it will be shown there down the bottom side that it will cookies and if you hide so it will not show that so this is that now i'm going that next logo so i click here logo you can see here you can choose here your file which file you want then you can put here 16 cross 16 pixel this one for a small size and you also can choose here 170 cross 60 pixel for that this logo in website and this one is for choose this kind of footer which time you want in the footer, you can choose here that or footer. And this one for use ideal size 235 cross 62 pixel. So you also can choose this one. And now we are going on map. Click here. Map type, you can change your map setting. Google map as you want or open street back. And Google map color. If you want to change that color, you also can change green that as you want. I'm not changing and not saying and this showing that how this you can choose and here you can put token open street access token this is not if you go in this thing then you will get like I'm going this here you can log in and you can get your token and you can put here like same Google Map API keys you can set here same and default attitude and 
allow me to we already put here so as one you can change content name attitude and content name allow me to so you can change here and save it's also simple and next is the international setting you going on international you can see here that default country as you choose that one and it will show that your site so you can change if you want so you can change here so it will show like bangladesh and australia as you want and you can choose here your country that time zone what have time zone in australia you choose i am just selecting it and here currency as you want you can choose all the currencies by default have if not have loss can have but already you have all the currency of the world you also can see here language you can choose here your different language and you want to add something else so we can show that next video how add the language this is the different topic so this one you can choose here right now that we already added default languages so you can select from here and uh, auto language reduction you can also enable and disable this one is auto language reduction you can read here use visitor browser languages the default language anyone user already use that browser so it will be same language they will catch and it will show same and you can save here so we're going on the next email setting here and it will be changed Emails and you can also have option SMTP host port username password encryption and option they can change as their requirements so this is all the email setting of that app next is the theme setting you can change your website like you can see here so many one enable and disable so for hide and show that membership part if I right now showing so I'm going on front end to really show that membership part so I scroll click here pricing so you can see here that our pricing part if I hide that it will I disable so I disable this and save going on front end and refresh now you can see that price is already high so this for hide and show this MSI file so going back at admin now I'm change that never and now you can see the show partners right on home page if you can enable so it will be showing otherwise not showing and right now it's visible so that one is not shown that one is that side of and you also can change the thing color right now this color purple if i change like for example this color thin color and save now i'm going on front end to press this i can see here that all color change This color also change. Yes. So this thin color you can change from that few seconds. Now I'm going again back again. Now you can see here meta keywords. You can create your meta keywords here in meta description. And here will be your contact address, contact email, contact phone, and Twitter, Facebook page link. This is all the setting of Twitter. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, YouTube. So this all is Twitter. You also can change your Twitter text if you want. And this one is copyright text that downside. And Android app link and iOS app link. You can put your Android URL and iOS app URL. And here you can put your external JavaScript or CSS header or header. If you want to change your handle so you can put your JavaScript here of CSS and you can save and it will be changed. 
So this is the thing I will show you on front end. You can see this footer. It's showing that text here. You can change this one. You can also can change your link here. Like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and YouTube. This you also can change. And this one you also change this copyright text. There's one you can text here. If I change, so it will changes here in thin set. One thing I am trying to change and trying to I am changing number and save. Now I am refresh this now go in content. Uh, so I go in content so it will show this. Now you can see here this contact now. You also can change this address contact. It's all in that theme setting. So I'm going on back. So this I do for example for chances. Now is the most important that AI settings. So I'm going on AI settings. Click here. Here is for bad words like some bad word rascals each it's any bad word you can change and you just type here so this bad word will be AI not show and they will ban this word so we go in this open AI and simply that we use single open AI only for all parts so it's already you know because we want that open AI model for all plants. So we can enable this and open AI model you can change as you want that you have your previous models and right now this one chat GPT for 32 k data. So this all the version you can change and save. And the API key use all randomly or new API. You also can change one the new otherwise that you will use that randomly so that's you can change from here and enable AI templates if you enable it will be show there in your site or if you disable it will be high so if you want to try this one you can disable same now I'm going front end and going that side now you can see here you can not show the templates before it was showing okay. and it's also will not show when you log in. So this is the also will not show and if I again enable so it will be show that the AI template. Now I'm saying Going on front end, refresh. Now it will show that templates. All templates and going all templates are on here. It will show. Before it was not shown. So this feature we can use for this. And it is the same for other AIs like, for example. AI image, we also can enable and disable. AI board, also enable and disable. AI chat, and AI chat prompt, and chat mode. So, this also you can enable and disable. Speech to text, text to speech. So, this all the AI I will show you after login because they are all in the login parts. So you can understand well. So I'm going on that join login part. I have my login ID. I'm logging. Successfully login. Now you can see here sidebar. They have all the AI's templates, AI images, AI chat, speech to text, text to speech, AI code. So this one we all hide right now. 
so we going on that admin panel right i am starting here from enable ai templates i hide this ai template ai image i hide this ai i hide this ai code i hide this ai chat and this one for inside the AI chat box, so I will show you later. And speech to text and text to speech. So this all the AI I hide. So I save this. Now I'm going to press four and press here. You can see here the organizer manager all the AI will be hide. Just be showing all the content. Enable AI templates, image, code, AI chat, it's already enabled, speech to text, text to speech, now save. So you go dashboard and press and you show all your inside part. You can see that the image of the chat, speech to text, text to speech, and AI code. So we're going again that next feature. Languages. Here we can change language as we want and also we can add and also we can delete and edit something like that. So you want to know how we can change so let's see. You can read here insert languages separated by commas in English only. So you can know that here we type only English and if we type first letter capital so is uh, very good. So you can put also comma. Or make separate field. So, like if I put here comma, so it's separate field. So, we doing practical. So, firstly, more understanding, we going on dashboard, front end, and I open templates. For example, I'm going any blog in article, like blog ideas. You can see what is your blog is about. Here, we will type here which type blog we want. Here, language that we can change and good quality you can change the quality type and tone of voice which tone we want funny case of as we want we can take here and number of result how many result you want so we can also choose one or two so it's like that and maximum result length which by default we want it so this is showing that all by default we can change and and we also can change language and if you want more air language we also can edit so we understand deeply in other languages right now i'm going on admin settings and you see here that language uh, firstly i'm showing to that hide how to i delete so first i'm like this i select Copy now. I delete the excess and now save it will be shown now. Save now. I'm going here. Refresh now. You can see here the drop down showing Chinese first. I mean, go here setting. You can see here that first language is Chinese. Right? Chinese so this one is I if I again add same so go here and I paste that one I copy you can see here comma then space so it will be show uh, sorry before we save so you save then I will go front end and refresh here And now you can see here language Arabic. Now it's showing Arabic language. So we can also delete and add. So this method it will be work. If I add uh, one extra language, so how I add? So let's see here. Downside I made here one. So some people doing mistake. So uh, what mistake doing? Uh, tell me. Some people just here forget to 
keep here comma and never delete and it's showing field like this one field more so how it's showing right now let's see i'm saving this i will go in front end refresh now you see that landed it will be shown And see your language and you can review this one more extra field but not have any text so this library to be shown so we don't do this mistake we didn't keep comma and the last one language so you go there and i keep comma right now and if you delete here and save then it will be not show Now save now you refresh so this is it so now you can see this perfect now I'm going back again right now I'm adding that one language like for example I add any one language before I text comma and I make african language so i copy your text and this language africans and i paste here i don't know language i'm just giving here to affect this like this this language i add and i save so right now you can see this language all already saved you can replace it now you can see here last language Africans. So firstly, you see this uh, text showing that African languages work or not. This also have one question in mind. So let's see going on that we make any type search like I make search in African language. So I have some thing. This means I want how make a blog. This so I copy. I paste here for searching so I already type text and I change that language of frequency you want to see that this work or not here is good or it type professional reserve one and as another language so I search click here generate so you can see here here written my text all the content This will it will be given maximum 200 words. So if I increase this like 500 generate, so it will be more content. So you can see that our second result is like 10 lines. So you can changes as you want so you know that it will be worth that whole language as you want as well as you can and go there now I'm going admin uh, settings now you go on then back admin and if I make here default language, let's see. I tell you if I change this in default, so it will be changed or not. That's it. I copy this, I make default language this clear, paste here by default. I'm good. So I will go in clean and default on professional. So I will put like fun and here will be. Text maximum length 800. So I save this. Let's see what changes in our default. I press and you can see my default language is Africans and quality type premium and tone of voice funny and number of result one more than which is not by default one. And maximum length 800. 
So anyway, so we also can change from there at any time. So it was that uh, simply AI templates you can change from at any time. So go in there again, we go in next AI images. We already see that hide and show that there is AI API. You can make here any uh, one AI in that stable. So I keep same open AI and API keys randomly on your API. In the same line we do that AI templates and show AI image on home page. If you want to show that enable disable or hide and show for home page. So it will be you click here. If you want to unshow so you can go there on page so i go simply on page here and now i'm going right at me right now in the i'm going to first i show where is image this is the image i'm mean, showing in home page so i just here hide and save you can refresh here so you can see this is not showing right now so the generator is already high and if I go back um, make enable and you can see here number of images on home page the same is home page it is right now eight if I do here three so it will be shown three images let's see I save and I go back, refresh. So you go downside, this one and two and three, only showing only three images. And if you want to show again back by getting others, you can do. It's total, it will be show you create here. Okay. What have it will be show. I again change it and save the same is enable the AI code. We already see that the AI code. I'll ensure all that. Let's see, I save it I press so it's showing that 336. We have more such videos, so I will show another option and go back here settings. And we going on next AI code. The AI code we already know, and maximum length is minus one. Minus one is set for no limit. This means unlimited. They giving you unlimited code if you generate it. Let's see if going here and I'm going AI code. So this is the AI code and you can see here title and description. Uh, let's see I make some for for image in an HTML. So I make a forum like simple forum. Make a forum HTML and PHP. One both code so it will show all. Make HP HTML So I click here generate so it will make one code. So you can see that is our code already shown this html you can copy here simple the title and server connect method name post email message and that is the echo thank you for message so it's simple form this php so all code i get it from this ai code so this is very good feature and uh, you can use this and I am going uh, back again settings 
going on next AI chat. I also I already did that. I didn't show and the same is model you can change for G chat GPT and maximum set is minus one. So I'm good. Next enable the speech to text for AI chat. So this one is enable right now. This useful that that voice we giving to AI chats if you want to enable this means showing so it will be this or if you want to hide so it will be not showing. So I will show where is it going on content and I'm going AI chat and I'm going some any chat box that I'm going motivational coach this is motivational coach he will give advice like this coach so hi my name is Anthony Rami and I am motivational coach I will help you through the ups and down of life so it's like this so this is showing I'm right now this one you can hide and show for point admin and this that this one so you can if enable session if I disable so it will be hide that voice. This one it will be hide. Let's see if yes. Now you can see this one is hide motion. And I'm again changing in early. This one. And if you go in here enable chat prompt, so I'm showing where is it? If you go here, this one is from library that we give you some text and click here so it's related giving that content you didn't need to type here so you can see that generate a creative social media content calendar for the next for our company and that any type of product you can type so this library have many types is this uh, giving a text like so if you want to hide this you can hide from this Enable chat box, you can disable and save. Now you go there and refresh. Now you see that here, not showing chat box. So it's like this. So you can go again, setting, and you can go next. We change here again. Now you can see enable JS typing effect. This one is used for um, enable this option if the default typing effect is not working. If default typing not working, so this one is used for typing effect. And this one is for enable enter to send message. If you enable, so you, you, you can send message from Android. Like uh, first, I say, and I refresh. So you can see I message anything. How can I make great coach? So right now I am doing enter, so it will be no message. Let's see, it's already work. So this AI will type. And this one, if you don't want to use, so you also can disable. And uh, enable default chatbot. If you want to hide and show that default chatbot, that by default is showing like this one, I'm going to show you AI chat. This AI chatbot. If you want to show this one, you can show other viewers in hide. Like I'm going to back and click. I hide here so you can see. So you can see here AJ mode. Now I press it will be hide. Now it's not showing that by default. Now we're going on back again. If we changes in by default chatbot, so we can change make I make name 2.0 chatbot name. And if you want something different, I will upload picture so you can 
make here 90 plus 90 which right now I don't have this so I'll just say and I refresh now you can see here now 3 point four point and now we're gonna next uh, speech to text enable speech to text if you want to enable so it's also can go I will go here speech to text you already know how to enable and disable and how is same text to speech you can also hide and show so firstly I show you instruction how they will you can do it before have some step for doing go to AWS console page and make sure and you are tagged login you are login so if you click here and you make here login and make here your cloud so all the speeches and data of speeches it will be saved there in cloud and then it will be used this cloud after logging in they will give you do something uh, this key is logging go to the security traditional page from your account and generate a new access key if you go there security traditional page if you log in then it will be show you that page and you can generate that new access key and you copy both the access key and the access key secret and paste in the video form that keys you get to and you paste here a double access key and secret key you paste here so both you paste here then save then it will be your text to speech work working otherwise not working so firstly i'm showing on that front end how is work here will be show that title the text here and upload media like mp3 mp4 that voice have so you can put here in which language they have so you detect auto or you also can put that language if you know that it's hindi english anything and if you want to type here audio description you can type and then like there's a mail entry and then after you can jump it so this one you get here text so here you can be exporting word document and you also can export as text file and copy simply text so you can all thing you can do here so it's also very simple and this is required that API key for speech and then it will work as not without it and uh, going back here text to speech i am already showing that steps how they create and get access key you paste here you also can hide and show from here and default language you want to change so you also can change default language and this also can you can change default voice so it's also simple not have much difficulty here you can see aws region you can put here and proxies you know that about proxies you can text here and save it so this is a, this is the ai settings and this is most important to use for user and also for admin so going on next affiliate program affiliate program we already know how to make and we already show that previous videos you can go in the last chapter of the previous video it will show you how is the work and how is work in the user so i will not discuss in this video and you going on that live chat live chat this one live chat you can enable and you put your link directly so it will be shown and you can enable for membership best plan or you can free so visible so disable this to allow live chat for all users otherwise you need to specify in the membership plan so it will be showing membership plan so this is for live chat and you also can go giving details i click here 
Billing distance also simple. You can enable and disable. And invoice number prefix. Here will be you type invoice number and name, email, phone, address, city, state, zip code, and country. Text type and text type. So you can save here. Then it will be show that billing detail. We going on next. Then social login setting. You click here. Social login setting will be do in Facebook login and Google login. If you click here, Facebook app ID you put here and Facebook app secret you also text here. Then it will be direct login show. Right now I'm not showing. And uh, Google login also same. Click here Google app ID and here Google app secret. Then you can see. So it will be show there and user login, Google login and Facebook login both. And this one we usually use all the website. Next, Google recapture. This have some instructions. We have that six steps. So we follow that. First is uh, go to the Google recapture and register a new site. So we go first Google recapture. Click here. And here is labels. First, we make here something title or anything. Label. So enter the label and select recapture v2. So firstly, I type something quick AI. This is the label and recapture v2 and go in. I am not a robot checkbox. So let's see. I'm going there. I'm going to challenge v2 and I'm not a robot. This I select and recapture type field. This is my type recapture. And here domains. So you can see here enter the your domain URL. Here we put URL of our site. That first one showing on this board. Recapture we put here domain host site and next step acceptor. Of service and click the submit button. So after you did this, make a submit button and put the site key and secret key. After uh, we click, if we click submit button, you will see that site key and secret. Key. So use them in the column below on this page. So if you get that two side key and secret key, you put here, you copy there from there the side, if you click here, so you will get and that two keys you paste here. The side key you put here public key and secret key you paste here, private key and save. So this will be Google recapture work and it will be shown on your site. So let's go in next block setting. Click here. Block setting is also enable and disable. And I am showing right now. If you click here and save, going front end, and I refresh. It's not showing direct. I hit my put home page. So you can see here not showing that field block. If I enable so it will be shown. Save. You can see refresh here. This one is showing block. Click here, it will be shown one block. That one admin name here. And you go back. Show block on home page. If you want to show for home page, it's also for enable design. And it's also for after login. So first you can see here I go I disable and save and I go here refresh now blog not showing so this one for I show for home page and blog commenting if you want anyone can comment blog so never otherwise you can uh, let's see right now I can comment or not refresh here and I'm going blog click here. And you can see this is first block. 
right now we can comment okay and here already have to comment that admin did that comment and uh, let's see here showing that testimonials feedback of users let's see going back here if i disable commenting say and going back and refresh you can see here now we cannot comment already had the comment box so this is what like this next number of blogs on blog page it's saying about that blog page so right now by default it firstly i showing how much i am going on blog and view blog this is blog page and right now i have three blog same so it's saying about the page right now i have one page number of blog on blog page so if i make one here and save and go back and refresh here so it will be show one two three this means they will show in one two three means it will be shown only one in one page if i type here two and save and refresh it will be show two and if i make here three we have a total block three and save so it will be showing one page refresh now showing one page and we put before in so i will keep same so this work like this and block banner image if you so it will be showing if you hide so how it can be show let's see save type face so image will be hide so this image will be hide so i'll change again show comment approval auto approve login user comments and auto approve all comment disable auto approve comment if disable so it's mean you will not comment automatically so i keep here by default who can comment everyone only login users that privacy you want you can choose so this is the block setting and i'm going on next testimonial settings i'm going click here and see testimonials enable and disable you can see here home page or everywhere if i disable save and i'm going home page refresh so you can see here not showing testimonial page okay and if i show save refresh now it will be shown. This is our testimonials. And you go back here. Show on blog page. If you want to show on your page, uh, blog page, so you can also enable and disable. Uh, so, firstly, I go in blog page. And well, so this is our blog page. You can see here is testimonials showing. If you want to hide here so you can hide from this save and replace now it's hide so i again change so on home page right now same like this before showing to everywhere and now it's showing for home page so it's like same work and uh, you go in that next purchase code purchase code we already used when we install this PKI after purchase code, it will be work. So that's why we already verify purchase code. We put here purchase code and put email and save. Then it's work. So this is already we know that purchase code. So this is the all the setting of PKI. I hope you understand it. And if you get any difficulties, you have any query in mind, so you can comment and 
if you like this video so like and please subscribe the channel so you will get more information about these beescapes plugins so thank you for watching